king. Well, well, I'm surprised you don't know me. I'm Brianna. I take care of the men around here. Well, unmarried ones, anyway. <laughs> Vance has him in meditation right now. No one's supposed to be in there. Poor kid. He looks like he could use another friend. Well, that is sweet. But Vance would kick my rather gorgeous ass right out of here if I told you how to find Ian. Sorry. Huh. Nope. Like I told you, Vance has him in meditation right now. No one's... Yeah, yeah. It's the last place I ever expected to end up. I mean, look at this place. It's so dark and dingy. What this place needs is a lady's touch. But don't tell Vance <laughs> I said that. <coughs> How about just the coolest gang this side of the U.S.? As long as we listen to Vance's rules and listen to his stuff, he lets us do pretty much whatever we want. Bye, sweetie. Ah. Don't even think of breaking into that. Mm, Gandhi. I've met you yet. The name's Alan. What did you want? I don't have any authority here. I'm pretty new myself. Justin's been trying to talk to Ian, make him feel better. Maybe you should speak to him. Right now, I call this place home. The only home that's ever let me stay with my problems. <laughs> well, anyone that Vance takes in because of their special problems can be part of the family. Guess I'll see you around. Be on the job until the job is done. Mm. Well, well. I haven't had a customer in a while. Last one I had was a bit too. Know what I mean? <laughs> Do I look like a fucking babysitter? I don't know that. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your feelings? Tough shit. This is the real world. You want to know something? Find it out your damn self. Wow. Ian, Ian, Ian. Is that all you've got to say? Sheesh. This place is my place of business. You want to buy something, then buy it. You want to flap your lips, take a hat. No. We're the last people you want to miss with. That's for damn sure. If your caps are good, you can buy whatever you like. Beat standing there drooling all over the merchandise. Oh. Buy something. Okay. Hello there, stranger. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Holly, Vance's wife. I'm afraid Vance has him in isolation, and there's no way I'm going to override Vance's orders. He's a good kid. I think Vance will set him along the correct path soon. Like he did for all of us. You don't think he's already messed up? Come on, don't kid yourself. We pulled him out of that shithole town just in time. Like I said, he's in isolation. It's his time to meditate and reflect. This is Moreski, the home of the family. It's the only safe place for these poor people. My husband started this group not long ago. He was trying to save them from a life of hardship and ridicule. They come from all over the wasteland now to find us and become part of the family. It was... What? Welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit?
What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. You amaze me. Never have I met a human with the gift of that you possess. Tell me then, what are we? Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Now, Ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. you want with him? Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erefu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. He had lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. Words impress me, human. Perhaps <laughs> I misjudged you when we first met. If you wish to speak to Ian, you are free to do so. Here is the code to the area in which he is meditating. How dare you? For example, that name of yours. I have to... You wish to speak to me again? You are standing inside Maresti, the home of the family. This is our sanctuary from the outside world. It is a refuge for those society labels as out. The family has become our moniker because that is exactly what we are. Related by blood. Even if all of us look different on the outside, we all have had the same vice infesting our insides. But now, through my teachings, these subjugated people have come together and formed a bond stronger than their friendship. You are free to roam the common area of our home as our guests. Damn what vampires. <laughs> oh, there's a bed, okay.
but then no. Decent mom. You wish to speak to me again. Hmm. Looks like he kinda knew. Even though I didn't say anything about him stealing. You got to say to me. Uh, what do you want? I expect him to be a bit younger in the voice, but okay. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? must think I'm some kind of a monster. There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? She, she really misses being home and she's asked about me in here a lot I think I had it all wrong I shouldn't have come here I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me please tell Vance I've made my decision I'm going home to Arfu I hope to see you there as well I'm just going to gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes then I'll head on back your talk with young Ian went well. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? As long as you maintain this level of civility, we will proceed. I suppose we could stop our raids on Arafu in light of this situation. That just forces us to prey on others. Unless, many years ago, I survived by drinking from preserved blood packs I recovered from hospital wounds. The problem was that these blood packs are scarce. Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them, and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. If you fear reprisal from the family regarding his decision, know that I would never hold it against you. And as for Ian having you speak in his place, I find his trust sufficient enough to accept what you say is true. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. 
I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this way. Goodbye, Bruno. Our time together has been rather educational. I like it. Shish kebab. Oh, nice. Here, don't know, okay. Is there only one way out? Right. One dog ain't enough, and two is too low. Yeah, it looks me, so. three dog. How you kids handling post apocalyptia today? Ah, uh, yes, time for the news. There have been more and more sightings of raiders over by Evergreen Mills. Smart money's on them having some kind of camp out that way. Oh, okay. Oh, I Long loading screens. Sure you need a different one. Yeah, you should be dead. Zero damage.
Nice thing is, I get two assault rifles. No, sorry, nice rifles. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the waste. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. been saving up stuff for emergencies in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. Wow, scotch. Sorry, the wells run dry. Yeah, thank you for the scotch though. That's gonna help me a lot. to them it's gonna be quite a long way so I'm gonna be back when I'm there okay excellent I knew you would serve as an ambassador for us in good faith I will dispatch Alan to Arafu immediately to help serve as their guardian and honor my end of the agreement your efforts surpass those of the average human in fact I feel almost like you are a member of our flock. Hmm. If you ever wish to learn our ways, you have but to ask. To be a vampire is a life commitment. It is not achieved by my words. It is something you earn by your own will and sincere meditation. Sadly, I cannot fully make you one of us, but I can teach you how the lifeblood of others brings us regenerative powers. Since your body lacks the way to extract blood as we do, you must find alternative sources for your nourishment. Take heed of the blood. Allow not a drop to spill. Feel the warmth spread inside you. You are becoming one with the life force of another. They lend a part of themselves to you. For a brief moment, you are two entities becoming the fumes to course through your body as you partake of the blood. 
feel it empower you and make you stronger. Once you have done this deed, <laughs> only then will you know what it is like to be a Thanos. Okay. There is no more I can teach you. Use what little I have given you well and carry that knowledge with honor. I'm certain our paths will cross again. Right. Always a pleasure to receive. Very well, actually. Our truce with Arafu is coming to fruition. I've begun teaching my people to live off of the donated blood tax. The transition has been difficult, but we will manage. You've certainly done us a great service, and I can't thank you enough. I'm certain our paths will cross again. Good. Oh. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where is the guy? Here. What? No, he's not here. Fine. What else? I'll go back, we'll talk to the chick that gave me this quest. So I'll be back in the same time. I have a little bit of scrap and all stacked up. We have all right. Let me count out. Twelve scrap metal. Damn. Okay. Need to find the end now. Need a hand in my mission. Well, I don't really have any. What? What? Hey, Pearl, what do you need? It's called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune. And, well, I found this place. <laughs> I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. Hmm. See you soon. What is it, hun? Huh? Oh, you mean why was Gob banging on that radio? Well, out there in the wastes, there are two stations that broadcast. There's the Enclave station. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C. But the signal went down a while ago. No, it's bad. Come on. Where is Moriarty? I wonder. I think he be just walking around.
the heck are you? Things are much better. We all don't have to stay inside our houses, and we sleep much better at night. It hasn't been this peaceful in Arafu for as long as I can remember. The proposal you brought us from Vance should also ensure our safety. I don't think I'll ever be able to repay you. No, oh, that's good. I'm glad I was wrong about you. Welcome back. There are a few interesting places around here I've heard about. I don't know if they'll help you or not, but you're welcome to them. Thanks for setting me straight on everything. I suppose not. I was about ten years old, and I was playing with Lucy down under the overpass. We loved throwing rocks in the water. We saw some wastelander trying to break open the Brahmin pens and steal one of them, so I ran over and told him to stop. He just laughed and pushed me away. When I fell, suddenly my head started to hurt, and my eyes got all blurry. Almost like I'd blacked out. Next thing I know, Lucy was pulling me off the guy. I had ripped his throat open with my teeth. Mm. She said I like changed into another person, that I even glared at her and raised my arms like I was gonna kill her. The wastelander took a swing at me with some kind of club. I turned around and jumped on him. I tore his throat open with my teeth. If he wouldn't have done that, Lucy may have been killed too. I just don't know. Lucy said mom and dad would never have understood. She told me to keep what I did a secret and that she'd try and help me. Thanks to Lucy, she was able to stop that from ever happening again for years. Every time I'd feel the hunger, she'd hold on to me and not let go. After a while, the hunger almost seemed to go away until, well. Yeah. I don't know. I really don't. I mean, I'm not totally dumb. I know they were in stories. Who knows, maybe Vance is right and vampires were just people like us who learned to control their hunger and drink only blood. I mean, vampires are regarded as feared monsters instead of hunted animals like cannibals. Kind of makes sense. <laughs> she said I like... Yeah. Something else is controlling me. I can see what's happening, but can't close my eyes. I don't even remember exactly what happened until Vance knocked on the door. That's the weird thing. He has some sort of crazy sixth sense about him or something. Maybe all of our kind do. As soon as I was with the family, I really felt at home for the first time in my life. It's like all these people are my real brothers and sisters. Mm, that's kind of nice. I sat there on the floor staring at my parents' bodies. It seemed like days I wanted to feed, to eat their flesh. But it was like a little bit of me was holding on. Then, out of nowhere, there was shouting outside and a knock at the door. I opened it, and it was Vance. He seemed to know exactly how I was feeling inside. He took me under his arm and we left. I never looked back. Vance told me later that he was basically covering for me and allowing the family to to feed at the same time. Since my parents were already dead, they drank their blood and left the mark on the wall. He didn't want Evan to suspect that I had done it. The irony is they were stalking our town to feed anyway. It's almost like Vance knew this would happen. It's weird living in my parents' old house with them gone, but I'll make the best of it. Everyone around here is being nice to me despite what happened, so I guess it all turned out well. Thanks. Sounds good. 
Come back and visit me sometime. Yeah, be a help. Also pushing those things. Um. Okay. Let me do a few things before we continue. See, there's a freaking rider in my way. Let's kill it. Okay, nice man. Oh hi. Don't kill my dog though. Okay. Hmm. Hey man, what's going on? Got anything to say? All I know is that I spent too much time out there, and beyond that, I ain't gonna talk about it. What's on your mind? Next episode, I'll be heading over to Robco facility and probably also to Tenpenny Tower. So for now, bye.